Durag Wisdom here, folks. Um, I'm sorry about my nose with that mark on it. It comes from those Breathe Right strips. Sometimes that happens. They're very good. They help you breathe. There's your commercial. Uh, I hate to see have you look at this, but I don't wear makeup unless I'm going out for Halloween or something, or unless I'm planning on being uh, the birther bastard. So I apologize for you looking at this thing. This is what you get. Me with all my fooking, as one of my uh, people who post says, they told say, you're fooking ugly. You know, you get what you get. I'm trying to be as real as possible to you folks. As I promised, I want to talk about keeping your eye on the ball. The list. The list of things that I remember about this creep that helps keep me focused. The fact that I've read 1984 helps. It helps because that the rules, the the, the nature of, of totalitarianism, the ideals, the ideas, the methods, all in that book. So I'm able to recognize this shithead for what he is. In the meantime, here's my list, and I want to start it right away before uh, I run out of time here. Uh, this guy's going to set up all kinds of crap to distract us from what he's doing, what him and his totalitarian uh, tumor party is doing. Uh, so here are the things you should remember. Before the election, the GOP set up voter suppression in any state they rule. They set up gerrymandering. Um, that's, that ensures that these GOP scum are going to be in our, in our hemorrhoids, in our asses until at least 2020. Uh, they have the Citizens United and the evil rich behind them. Uh, the GOP has been working very, very hard to undermine our constitutional and our, our American liberties, our American rights. Okay, now, that was voter suppression, gerrymandering, Citizens United, corrupting our elections. So we're really fucked. Uh, during his campaign, I saw black people assaulted. That's right. I saw a guy go up into a black woman's face with his hands like this. I saw a black man being elbowed by a cracker scumbag. And I'm using the term cracker because they like to use the N-word. And since, since my skin is as white as snow, I get to use the word cracker. Like that Jeff Sessions creep. Okay, that's my phone. He makes fun of the handicapped during his, during his campaign. He says he grabs pussies. He assaults, or he insults, excuse me, Gold Star family. Calls Mexicans rapists. Says he's gonna build this giant wall. He's gonna have extreme vetting. In other words, he's gonna take what's written on the Statue of Liberty about getting the immigrants, the huddled masses, yearning to be free, he's gonna cut that off. He says that in 10 years, he's gonna be going out with this 10 year old. I mean, now she's 10 years old, but in 10 years, when she's 20, he'll be going out with her. Old enough to be her great grandfather, that stinking stupid piece of shit. Thinks he's so privileged. Says that he he always wanted a a uh, purple heart. Okay. Too bad I couldn't kick his ass into a battlefield and see what he likes about it then. All right. Now he started the fake news movement, which is the birther movement. Remember this creep. Every time he says fake news, just remember he started the fake news, the fake news movement with the birther thing, okay? He's a he's a masturbator of fake news, the birther bastard Trump Putin. He says they that during the, his campaign that protesters should be beaten up. At his uh, inauguration, he made a speech about American carnage, which was written by Nazi Bannon 
and probably Nazi uh, sessions, KKK sessions, and probably Nazi Steve Miller. All right, and during the first <laughs> week of his of his uh, being, I don't want to say what he what people like to uh, some people like to call him, but ever since he's been flushed into our lives, he insulted China, he insulted Mexico, he insulted Australia, he insulted Sweden, but not Putin, not Putin. He does not insult Putin. He has not shown his tax returns, folks. Remember, he has not shown his tax returns. You keep up with that. He has not given up his businesses, his private businesses. This guy is a fascist who has absolutely no right being president of our country. He, invi he violates the emoluments and the clause in the Constitution. He does accept gifts, and his family took that's his family. Says you know he's he's against the globalism. Well, then keep your goddamn hotels only in the United States of America. Don't put them anyplace else in the world. Uh, if you're against globalism, make sure all your ties and all your clothes and your and your shit-stained underwear is made in the USA. Trump stupid. Now he drains the swamp. Now this is while he's president. He drains the swamp and he puts it all into his cabinet. All these people who want to destroy every social program there is, everything. Uh, he kills the Navy SEAL Owens because of a botched raid that the Obama administration passed on. But this creep at dinner had plans, on, plans an event, an attack that was botched and a Navy SEAL was killed. How many more American citizens and foreign-born people and people in other countries are going to be killed, including the ones in Yemen who were killed, uh, uh, civilians and children. Calls intelligent agencies Nazis. He encouraged, and encur during his campaign, Russians to ha hack Hillary Clinton's uh, mail, her emails. Meanwhile, these creeps have, have been doing like <coughs> excuse me, sessions and, and the like, uh, have had, and uh, what, Pence, uh, their emails are, are unsecured, right? They've had the same thing. He encouraged the Russians to hack. This birther bastard encouraged the Russians to hack. He loves Putin. He wants to deny the FBI the Congress, he wants everybody to be unaware of his connection to Putin and the Russians and the, and the oligarch dictatorships. Begins purges of free press, free speech, calls these, these uh, fanatic news organizations like Breitbart at his press conferences. Fires his temporary attorney general that was appointed best by uh, Obama. Fires her because she refused to uh, in, to institute his travel ban. His his uh, he violates every human right and social program and environment. Wants to give weapons into mentally into the hands of mentally ill. He wants coal companies to be able to dump their shit into our into our water. Bannon and Miller, his advisors, are Nazi scum. So if you're seeing a lot of rise in anti-Semitic incidents, my fellow tribal members, if you voted for this scum, you're getting what you deserve. Now, the GOPs are hypocrites, folks. Massive hypocrites. Because if Hillary Clinton had won and all this crap was coming out, they'd be everywhere! The GOP would be everywhere! They'd be crawling up everybody's asses! 
Do you understand? The GOP does what it wants and violates every part of our lives, especially with this creep that's in office, because they have the parentheses R with the capital letter. And if we really had a party, a Democratic opposition party, a progressive party to fight them, we wouldn't be in the shape we're in today. And if the other half of the people voted, this creep would have never won.